Jeff's here. He's helping me out with a tool to get this spring and nuts out of my uh, fuel separator. I got two out and there's two of them are stuck in their friggin' Imperial. And everything we've got here is metric. So here we are, me and Gallopin, in a cozy spot right in the city center. When we first got back here, in our little spot, uh, next door in the marina, all these boats came in from the Ark, it's the Atlantic Rally Crossing, and uh, I don't know, it's about 100 boats or so, and all band together and sail across the Atlantic. Not my cup of tea, I don't like doing things in groups, always gotta wait for somebody or can't be too far ahead or too far behind and all that. But got all these beautiful boats, all nice boats, they all have to be, you know, perfect and and it's not my kind of thing. And when you compare us over here, we're kind of like uh, trailer park trash, you know? <laughs> we're here and there's a few of us that live on our boats and it's different than these people who just kind of pass by with their shiny, cool, beautiful boats. Johnny's right here next to me with his kind of old beat up boat that he's been here forever. Henrik is just behind me. Peter's a little bit further behind me. There's Marlino here. There used to be more people here, but you know, in our little enclave of trailer park trash. Plus, we're the ones that party the most here. <laughs> this is our little private little trailer park hangout here. Just us, fun loving people. So I've been here about two weeks, yes, in Mindelo, and uh, I came here with a mission to fix up some things on uh, Galopin that needed to be done. That's easier to do here than in Tarafan or one of the other islands. Hola! I'm taking care of uh, Simon, Simon the engine, draining the oil. I had a little bit of engine oil, some uh, transmission oil or hydraulic oil, and some two-stroke engine oil. Because <laughs> we just had to put any kind of oil in there because it was bone dry. And poor Simone was <coughs> having a hard time. So, uh, I got this much freaking oil out of here. We got another bottle here, but it's got a freaking leak in it. Ah, damn it, leaking here. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, better switch bottles. Ooh, black oil everywhere. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm an artist, not a mechanic. I don't like having oil and grossness all over me. Merda. Puta que pariu. I'm cursing in French because I can't curse in English. I'm cursing in Portuguese. Put it in Creole. It's okay. <laughs> Got the oil out, that's most important. A little bit here. You know what gets rid of oil? Stains and stuff? Oil the cocoa. Coconut oil. Look at that. Ah, feel drawn. I need to get a new one of these. Now let's go get the fuel filters. I think it's awful, disgusting, black. Gotta drain this out too. Check this out, folks. I was getting my hip replacement surgery. I uh, had to get a thing stuck in my urethra or my wee wee because after uh, anesthesia I couldn't go pee. I was like stuck. So they gave me this bag and I'm like, 
I think I could use this. When you're done with it, can you give it to me? And I'm like, no, we can't give it to you. <laughs> it's not sterile. But the nurse was cool. She said, I'll give you a new one. She gave me two new ones. And I'm like, well, I can use this for something. And you know what? I'm going to use this because it fits perfectly on here. Drain the filth. There's some deposits. And look, I can even close it. There's even like a shutoff valve here. Cool or not, huh? Then I got stuck, but I got help. Peter's here. He's helping me out with a tool to get nuts out of my uh, fuel separator. I got two out and there's two of them are stuck in their friggin' Imperial. And everything we've got here is metric. Ah. I flattened it. So yeah. If you really want a better one. Oh no, that's part of that stupid piece. Yeah, do, do this. Yeah. Talk. Oh man, look at all that crap in there. Man, it's like tar. If that gets into your injectors, you're up. Man, it's just glad I took that out and cleaned that out. My little Samoan man, I'm gonna take care of you as best as I can. All right, clean that out. Look at this. Nice and clean. Perfect. Now let's put it back together. Thank you, Peter. You can find most things here. One of the main reasons to come back to Mindelo. But it's not always easy. Well, filter. Two fuel filters now missing. Just this one. I don't have this one. Damn. All right, we'll go find it somewhere else. And we did, at the channel reef. Okay, I got my filters, a few filter there. Man, 24 bucks, expensive. The big oil filter, that was 18 bucks. And then uh, this one was like eight. I got two of them, just in case. So let's finish this job up, man. All right, vice filter is in, filled up with diesel. Looks like everything's gonna be swell. Now let's give it some oil. Putting in the filters and oil was easy. Now the tricky part is getting the air out of the fuel system. First you have to pump the fuel into the system which is on one side of the engine. And on the other side is a small screw where the air gets pushed out. I poised and used the camera to see. Obviously I couldn't be in both places at the same time. And it worked. Then you have to loosen all four injector intakes to push the air out of them. So the thing is with uh, bleeding these injectors is that um, you gotta loosen this nut and they go turn on the engine and it pushes the air out. Now normally you do this with two people but since I'm alone I chose to use this little piece of paper and put it under the injector tube there that feeds the fuel and see if it's wet. This. Uh, tightening screw, whatever you call it, this bolt, this nut here, and then turn on the engine, push the air out, wait till some fuel comes out, and if this piece of uh, paper towel will be wet with some diesel. So let's try it out. Going. I've done everything right, 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 but. one bolt, one nut that I didn't close right. And someone commented that the hydraulic oil I used as a substitute helped my engine.
apparently that kind of oil will clean out pistons and cylinders. And Simone did seem to run pretty smooth, man, purring like a kitten. Everything has been fine with Simone since. While I was in there too, I checked on my autopilot. My autopilot was making a little clicking noise I didn't like very much. So I took apart the gears in there that I know I'm not going to bother showing you, but I checked it, everything was fine. I added just a teeny, 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 teeny bit of um, lube grease and everything seems to be fine with that. I also took advantage to add a non-return valve on the build under the engine because water would go out and come all the way back down and like, you know, anyways, that's done. Oh, I also installed a new little shower head. I thought it'd be really easy, no problem. So I went to a little Chinese hardware store, bought this good little shower head with a hose on it. I said, oh, it'll be easy, just like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. nothing fit. Check this out, man. I had to jerry-rig this whole thing together just to work because I want to be able to take a shower and I had some friends come over and they like to take a shower or at least wash their privates because I have no toilet paper in my boat. I do not put toilet paper in my bathroom stuff because it clogs it up. That's my opinion. Others may disagree with me. Anyways, whew, that was another like annoying little project, but I'm, it was working out <laughs> and I got it done. Just part of the liveaboard life. So I just had to document this. I'm back in Mindelo, as you know. Uh, I've been working on the Simone engine, met up with some old friends, some really sexy old friends. Anyways, today I went out to uh, get some food and I had a craving for some, for a good pork chop. And I went to the store and they had a pork filet mignon, man. And I bought it, it was only three bucks. I'm making a little mushroom sauce gravy and some rice and I'm just really psyched about it. You have no idea when you find things here that you don't usually find, like where you guys live, you guys can get filet mignon, all kinds of stuff, anytime you want. Here it's rare to get certain stuff. Anyways, I'm really happy and I'm really psyched to make my little filet mignon uh, medallions with some mushroom and cream sauce uh, and with a dab of white wine. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be delicious, man. Ah, the simple pleasures of living aboard. <laughs> Thank you.